video I'm going to talk about how to develop an exercise using GMatch. GMatch is a component of Hot Potatoes. This is the button to choose GMatch. So click GMatch over here. And then this is the display. This is the interface of uh, GMatch. Here we can write the title of the exercise. So the title is, for example, occupation. Because we are going to have, uh, this is a description of the occupations and this is the name of the occupations. The name over here will be jumble. So this, these are the element which will be uh, jumbled, will be put in an, an ordered way. And this one is going to be the stable one. So let's have occupations. And then here we write, for example, a, a person who makes furniture, a person who makes furniture. And here we just write the correct answer. Uh, this is this is a left left is and the left panel is the description, and on the right panel is a, uh, the occupation or the term. For example, you have a carpenter, carpenter. Uh, and we have over here we have a person who fixes a car, a person who fixes a car, and here we have a mechanic. And here we have uh, a person who sells good, who sells good. And the answer is a merchant. A, a merchant is a person who sells good. And here we have a, a person who plants food. Uh, what is it? Who, who plans? Uh, who plans? Uh, a person who plans something. Who plans? Who plus a person who grows? Yeah, let me have grows here. Grows uh, various plants for food. And the answer is a farmer. And the number five, we have a person. We have a person who fixes the faucet, fixes a person who fixes a faucet. And the answer is a plumber. Plumber, right? The, the, and then we have the next you have uh, going up over here. This is number six, number seven, number eight, number ten. We're going to have ten. So now this is number six, is a person who takes care of a patient. A person who takes care of a patient. And the answer is a nurse. And we have uh, a person who, who takes care of a garden. So a, a garden, right? And the name is a gardener. The occupation is gardener. So a gardener is not very much different from uh, from a nurse, except that a nurse takes care of a patient, and the gardener takes care of a garden. And number eight, we have a person who diagnoses a patient. A person who diagnoses a patient. If you are ill, if you do not feel well, you need to see him to see what disease you have. Don't have COVID though. Patient and the answer is a doctor. And here we have a person who cooks in a restaurant, a person uh, who cooks in a restaurant. Of course, the answer is not a cooker because a cooker is a tool. So he is a, what is it? What is a, is it a cook? A person who cooks in a restaurant is a cook, just a cook, not a cooker, right? A cook, okay. And we have a, a person who writes stories. Well, to be exact, probably a short, uh, novel, a short stories and novels. And the other is an author. 
This is the display. Uh, you have the, when it is jumble, and, and we have here we have the what is it? When it's jumble and it's hidden, and the answer is you just have that, and then we can choose which one is the correct answer. So and here, uh, if you have a person who writes a short story, and the numbers is there, you have that. And then again, we to see the previous, you can just click here or. This is to, to add more. This one is to go down to the previous uh, number one, number two. A person who makes furniture is a carpenter. A person who fixes a car is a mechanic. A person who sells good is a merchant. A person who grows various plants for wood is a farmer. A person who fixes a faucet is a plumber. Plumber, this is farmer. And uh, going up, I think it's an, it's important to check that uh, as a teacher, as a language teacher, that every that our sentences are correct. A person who takes care of a patient is a nurse. A person who takes care of a garden is a gardener. A person who diagnoses a patient is a doctor. A person who cooks in a restaurant is a cook, just a cook, not a cooker. And a person who writes short stories and novels uh, uh, is an author. So we have got over here and here everything is uh, free here. It doesn't have a fixed position it's like this and uh, all the words in here will be general according to the machine. It's not fixed, no fixed uh, arrangement over here. And then for that, uh, once uh, we need to save our work first and then we can edit later. So save the document here as GMT over here so you can uh, occupation and the extension is of course GMT. Okay, uh, and then we need to save the file as uh, what is it as an STM so that we can display this file in the uh, website. For that, as a rule, it's better. No, it's a, as a rule we need to save as. Uh, just one word. So save as a as a one word. I mean, export here. Create a web page, standard web page. Okay. Uh, we can have a to save a file for a web page. The rule is that we better write it as a word, like occupations, and it is better to write all the names or all the words in small words because in some browsers the difference between capital letters and small letters will matter. If the name of the file is a small letter and then the link which call the file uh, writes occupation with O, capital O, then it does not work. So as a good practice, we should write the names of a file using small letters and uh, also just in one word. If the name of the file consists of two words, uh, we need to write that with the underscores, for example, occupation, and then what is the name of the file is. So that's a name of, uh, that's a policy in naming a file for an HTM or for a website because capital letters, small letters matter. Here you see it just now, we just save it as a display and okay, view it. So here, this is what I just mentioned. We only have the question over here and then we can change which one is who fix furniture. Uh, it's a person who makes furniture is a carpenter, right? That's it. So, and then a person who fix a car is a mechanic, check. A person who sells good is a merchant, right? Yes. A person who grows various plants for food is a farmer. What is a farmer? A person who fixes a faucet is a plum, a plumber. This is a plumber, not plumber. The bird does not read. And then you have a person who takes care of a patient is a nurse. A nurse is over here. And a person who takes care of a garden is a gardener. A person who diagnoses a patient is a doctor. Okay. And a person who uh, writes, uh, what is it, cooks in a restaurant is a cook. 
and a person who yeah what is it who writes stories is an author and then we can check over here check yeah we are clever students because we got the 100 correct okay good so that's it so we can this is the display of the file using website so later we can distribute the file to our students using uh, a website like that in a folder and then the students can open the folder and have the practice but it's good if we can have a uh, one cover page, one page in which the, we present the material and then we have a link to good on the exercises. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the uh, hot potatoes again. This is the hot potatoes, right? And then if we export web page, you can have a standard format over here and you have, uh, again, that's it. Well, let me have, just let me go back over here. We have file over here, web page. You have drag and drop. So drag and drop. Let, let's see how it works. Drag and drop. Okay. Uh, let me have uh, number two over here. View in the browser. So now you can drag and drop. So option of mixed furniture is a cartoon you can have. Okay. Option of the car is a fixes the car you can do that as well but that will be a wrong answer so you can have fix a car uh, sales good is a merchant over here and a uh, person who grows various food is a farmer is over here uh -oh. and a person who fixes a faucet is a plumber Put it so it's better to touch that and the person who takes care of a patient is if we split, just put it over here okay good person who takes care of a garden is a gardener where is the gardener this one it should be over here okay and this one should be uh, carpenter should go over here and then diagnose a patient is a doctor and the, an author is we can put it over here and this one is a cook now we can check the same result 100 percent correct well done good okay uh now let's go okay, okay so this is the way we develop a matching exercise using hot potatoes well that's all i think if you have any questions later you can discuss it again thank you